Hello, I'm Kathy Bissell. Welcome to the Golf Show 2.0. We have a very important visitor today from the Veteran Golfers Association. Gary, why don't you do the introduction? Well, when you said very important visitor, I assumed you meant me, but <laughs> once again, I'm wrong. We've got Joe Cayley from the VGA. They've got tournaments. They've got, uh, it might be the best golf league in America. Let's put it that way. Am I wrong on that, Joe? Uh, no, you're not wrong. You know, other than the PGA Tour, which is on the professional level, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're very honored and humbled to say that, you know, we're the, uh, one of the largest amateur golf association and tours in the United States. So, you know, that's very, very humbling to think about from where we started. But thank you for having me on today. You know, I look, look forward to being able to talk to a little bit about the VGA, how we got started and, and, and what we do for our, our veteran family. You know, I, I love it when somebody says, you're not wrong. That's great. We're off to a good start. <laughs> no so, one ever tells him that. <laughs> yeah, tell us how many players you have and then go into the background. How did you get started? Okay, well, you know, so it, it's amazing. Here, a few weeks ago, uh, you know, Josh Payton, um, a co-founder and VGA president, you know, you know, he and I were looking over a report that was given to, to us by our chief of staff. And, you know, we're at... Uh, you know, 28,000 members, you know, climbing, Holy totally and, climbing. Um, and, and that's, that's very humbling, you know, to think that, you know, we started in 2014 and, you know, and, uh, you know, our start uh, was, you know, really by, by chance, you know, like Josh Payton and I were very fortunate to be selected to represent the United States in a Wounded Warrior Ryder Cup uh, match against okay. uh, wounded warriors from great britain and the, you know the uk uh you know josh and i we kind of hit it off uh off the bat you know we were both infantry guys infantry officers um you know obviously army um you know so when you, our you team, knew how to organize but we uh, you know we talked as we talked the same talk right we understood the same lingo um you know that coming from the infantry the rangers you know, we, we had that, that, you know, obviously, a, you know, really strong desire for competition and, and obviously to win. Um, you know, our, our core group of uh, U.S. vets, you know, we had some practice rounds down in, in, in Orlando area. And it was kind of a chance for us to gel, um, you know, figure out playing with our playing partners before we went over and played over at Royal Lithium St. Anne's. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's that's where we kind of got our teeth kicked in. <laughs> It was uh, it was a very humbling experience of how good that these British wounded veterans were um, compared to us. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we had members, you know, we, we some of us, we, we won points, you know, um, some of us, you know, didn't, you know, whatnot. But obviously, Josh and I were sitting at uh, London Heathrow Airport, you know, kind of sitting there trying to figure out like, man, how did this happen? How did, uh, you know, how, how did, you know, I thought we had a very strong team. How did we go over there and just, just get smoked? And, uh, you know, uh, we started taking notes, you know, so uh, obviously a lot of our introduction, uh, our team's introduction through golf was, you know, we had been wounded. Uh, we got introduced to the game of golf, you know, through Walter Reed, you know, there was a program there that took wounded veterans out to, um to you know lo a local course there you know right outside of the hospital and it, and it kind of gave you like a basic instruction on on how to play you know and then you know you you get shipped off or you get sent back home to your home base or or whatnot you know and it's really kind of up to you to kind of like p continue the game or whatnot you know but um you know the british you know they they had a pretty strong program you know uh, of uh obviously introduction and then they 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 continued it where they would have the their players go and play in tournaments and here in the united states back at that time obviously you know so you're, you're talking 2013 2014 you know war obviously the war in afghanistan and iraq you, you know uh well afghanistan was still going strong iraq was winding down you had a lot of organizations doing charity you know basically fundraisers, right? You know, um, you know, Wound Warrior Project and, you know, a whole host of others. And, you know, when you're playing in those, 
those fundraising events, it, it, it's like a captain's choice, right? You know, so you you always got you always have that opportunity for someone to you know hit the fairway, someone else who can make a putt, you know, and and uh, um, so it, so the Brits the Brits essentially had they, a little they, more they, training they, and they were they were tournament tough as opposed to you guys. Exactly. They they played tournament golf and we played fundraiser golf. <laughs> that was true, right? And uh, you know, so it, it was very interesting because I, I remember Josh Payton uh, taking notes on the on the uh, napkins on the airplane, right? You know, little, little napkins there, and uh, you know, a lot of us were tired, right? You know, and uh, you know a few would just stayed up and we said, you know, it wouldn't be neat if we had our own league, you know, and, uh, we come back home. Uh, you know, I, I returned back to Augusta, Georgia, where I live. Josh lives in Pinehurst, North Carolina. And, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't long. A few weeks later, I'd start getting a phone call from, from this guy. Right. And, and, and it'd be late at night, you know, Josh was still active duty at the time. So he was a company okay. commander, um still you know still in charge of troops and whatnot so he, he was calling me you know w at the end of his day which you know it happened to be 11 min you know 11 o'clock p.m midnight you know i was like man why is this guy calling me right and, <laughs> and, he, and he's still talking golf and he's just still still bringing up like we got beat you know and and uh but you know the, the idea of the vga kind of spawned from these conversations that josh had with me you know, obviously with some other wounded, you know, uh, wounded veterans, you know, like how can we, how can we create a league where, you know what, we were able to be, get out and play tournament golf because, you know, even as veterans, we haven't lost our competitive spirit, right? You know, uh, when, you, when you come into the military, you know, you got to compete to, to get a promotion, you know, yeah. and, 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 you know, some of those things is, is, is as simple as, Right. You got to patch your PT test, you know, uh, every time it comes up and you got to be able to go to the rifle range when it's, when, you know, when it's time to come up and be able to hit your target well, you know. Um, so obviously, you know, you're in, it's instilled with every service member. There's a little bit of competition there, you know, because, I mean, you want to get promoted. You want, you know, you want to advance, you know, for folks who want to go on to, you know, jumping out of airplanes or, or whatever, you know, crazy crazy things they want to pursue in the military, you know, it, it, it's, those things are competitive, you know, not, um, you know, not, you know, not everyone signs up to be a SEAL or a Ranger or a Green Beret, you know, I mean, you got to work hard to get, get there. And those are, are a hard selection process, but, you know, we, we saw golf um, here in the United States where, again, there were a lot of organizations that introduced veterans and, and 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 active duty folks to golf but you know what at the after you learned you're kind of on your own you just you know you, you might have one or two friends in your hometown you can kind of go play with you know but you know when we when we started the vga you know it was with the concept of, hey we're going to cre create a, a golf league of our own you know and believe me when uh, when I, you, you know, I saw it as a chance. Oh man, we're going to be able to find the best, the best golfers, and we're going to put a team, and we're going to go back there and beat the beat the fits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, we, we we haven't gotten to that point of being able to play an international type competition against against uh, uh, you know Br you know British folks again. You know how only because you know the success that we've had here nationally um has been very over overwhelming you know so our very first national championship so let me back up real quick when we you know we, we started planning on what the vga was going to be right you know we wanted it to be a, a a tour you know and let's let's kind of model it after like maybe the us open where at the end of the you know end of the year you know the very best you know get get in, an invite to our national championship but you know they, they've got to play their way in you know whether from a state level then they go to uh, yeah. a regional so we you know we're broken into four regions you know um north south e, e, um, um, central and west right um so with those those four regions players work into a regional championship and, the, and those regional 
championships. Um, you know, each region has, you know, a certain number of slots and they, those players get to advance to our national championship. Our very first national championship was Pinehurst, uh, which was, you know, you know, kind of made sense is because we were headquartered in Pinehurst, you know, Josh, when he we mm -hmm. exited out of the, uh, the, the army, you know, he ended up, uh, you know, staying not too far from Fort Bragg and, uh, and I'll, and obviously, you know, like North Carolina is very veteran friendly, you know, yes. and you know, thank goodness. And the folks at Pinehurst Resort were were willing to entertain, um, you know, us having a, a, a VGA national championship there. And I remember that that very first year unloading all these players staff bags. So, every, you know, every player, they come, they get this nice bag with their name on them. And the more we start unboxing these things, you know, I'm sitting there like getting worried. I'm like, man, that's a lot of bags. I hope, I hope this many people show up, <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> you know, and, uh, cause you know, once you put your name, your name on them, you can't return them. Right. That's you know? right. And, uh, and sure enough, you know what? I remember sitting at the, um, at the main entryway to the, the ballroom at Pinehurst resort, watching players and their, and their wives or family members walking in the registration and then you, they come into the, the the ballroom and they see all these bags dressed left right dress and you know and the presentation is spectacular but you know what when they see their names on these bags you know i mean you know we, we've had guys who are you know, vietnam veterans with tears in their eyes and man that really hit me in the feels i was like okay we're doing something right you know <laughs> and, uh, most golfers i mean i play a lot of amateur events not not the i'm not the guy who's going to win them but you never see you never get you never get a bag with your name on it it's kind of a big deal because only pros get that really or college players and well you know and, and your whole setup what i like about it is i was going to say i i know military guys are just as competitive as like athletes who retire from pro sports and playing these celebrity events oh yeah they're trying to beat each other so i oh, know yeah. you guys are just like that oh yeah they're competitive and this is giving them motivation, something to do. I mean, they're they're you've given them a reason to. I don't know if they don't have a job or if they're just on benefits. Hey, here's a reason for me to go practice. It is. It is. You know, with with our membership each year, it seems to uh, yeah, obviously it, it, it's grown, right? You know, from three hundred something our very first year, you know, to the twenty eight thousand, you know. Uh, you know approaching 29,000 members now, um, you know, we have chapters in all 50 states, which is, uh, you know, when we reached that level, I thought, oh man, you know, this is like, you know, this is incredible. But, you know, now we have chapters in Bahrain and Germany, you obviously, you know, wow. with the service members who are serving over there, okay. um, you know, uh, and, and just here within the last several months, Puerto Rico, obviously, you know, uh, you know, being a territory and obviously a yes. lot of military members, you know, retirees that live there, you know, we, uh, same with Mexico and then our, you know, our, our very first international, uh, chapter, which is Australia, you know, and, uh, um, you know, and, and, uh, to me, you know, I, I, you know, I scratch my head about it all the time, you know, even in fact, this morning, the, the crew that's out here working on our, uh, you know, uh, my, my, my yard cleanup, you know, from after the hurricane, they, you know, they, they, you know, they saw a lot of VGA paraphernalia, uh, paraphernalia in the backyard, you know, pin flags and stuff like that. And, you know, the head, their head guy goes, man, I looked up the, the VGA last night on the internet and, and in the YouTube, he goes, man, I saw you, you know, saw you in Urban Meyer, you know, <laughs> and I was like, oh God, you guys looked that up, huh? And, uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, you, know, you, guys, you guys were on Fox, uh, Fox News, right? We, we were, yes, sir. You know, and, and, you know, we have, you know, obviously you have to thank a lot, you know, with the, uh, Coach Urban Meyer, who who you know came on as a supporter, and he's now uh, an advisory member of our board. Um, but you know, he's uh, uh, he grew up in a military family. You know, uh, his, his father was in the army. His his um, sisters in the Air Force, and so he, he understands our our mentality. You know, um, and uh, and and he and he's a fierce competitor too. You know, and so he understands that. And you know what. We were able to invite him to one of our signature events, which is um, 
the Armed Forces Cup, you know, so we out, we obviously have our national championship where, where the, our, you know, our best players come and compete, you know, for that national championship title. You have a, uh, um, a men's overall champion and, and, a, and a female overall champion, you know, and, and those two, uh, the, you know, they get to uh, um, compete. You know, they win a, a, a Patriot red jacket, which, uh, you know, uh, we, we, it comes from a very reputable uh, tailor um, that makes a lot of championship type jackets. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we chose the color red because uh, obviously it, it remember everyone deployed you know um and it kind of has a meaning for that you know plus it's a very very sharp looking color you know um and uh you know obviously they you know they, they get a lot of other cool little benefits from sure. that but you know we have 16 different flight champions you know obviously you have like an a wow. b c d um, a family division where family members can compete um obviously the female then we have a wounded wounded uh, um you know combat wounded division you know for purple heart recipients and uh, so the neat thing about those 16 flight champions is you know they uh, you know, they get invited to come to the masters um you know oh. which is event that we created you know it's now it's here we're going on nine years we call it tuesday for the troops so the they get That's to come amazing. and experience a monday practice round uh, yeah. you know, uh and then we we take them out and uh, um, on Tuesday morning, we play uh, a round of golf at, uh, at Champions Retreat, which is also, um, you know, obviously for your listeners, uh, you know, it's it's where the um, the Augusta Women National Am first two rounds are held, you know, so it's a, it's a, you know, obviously a very nice course here, here in the uh, Evans, Georgia area. And, um, and then you know, then there's that Rock for Doe concert that ha you know happens. You know, it's a, one of the very big big concerts here in town and activations that that go on. It normally headlined with by Darius Rucker. You know, that's on the you know on the Tuesday yeah. night. You know, then you know then the players depart on Wednesday, get to go home. But you know, we kind of wanted to give them that that you know like that Super Bowl moment, like hey, I'm going to Disneyland, but for a golfer, hey, I'm going to the Masters. That's you it. Know? And. Uh, yeah. Joe, how many how many tournaments do you have overall? Say this year, and about uh, how many people okay. play in each event? Well, so I, obviously, um, in total, you know, we've held over like sixteen hundred tournaments. You know, national. It's, it's right? broken it's, down by state or by region, state. isn't it? Yeah, by by state. state. Yes. Okay. So no matter state. where you are, there's one you can play in if you're a veteran. That's right. That's um, so e each state has a has a director, you know, obviously, you know, they work with all the local, you know, the courses within within their state. They they set up their schedules. Um, now, players are also uh, able to go play in, in, in any state, you know, so once they become a member, you know, which seventy six dollars is, is, you know, what our our, our um, registration fee is, you know, and that and that helps for you know, obviously running our our scoring yeah. application so we don't use a gin you know we have to have our, our own vga handicap just because of our different flights and then obviously you know we have a senior division you know and then like again in wounded, you know the wounded veteran division you know so um yeah you know i think we do a very very good job of uh you know flighting our own members you know and, and uh -huh. keeping them relatively competitive and and happy now obviously this is golf you're never gonna make anyone everyone happy right you know Golfers are never never happy they're the oh, most no, no. group of people in the world yeah it, it's always they want to give up the game when they come home from the golf course but they get up the next day and they can't wait to go out and play again it's that's right good. that's right you know so <laughs> nope, nobody know. ever tells somebody who won the handicap flight congratulations on playing better than normal <laughs> said, they always say you sandbagger <laughs> so Joe, yes, Gronk sir. can't get USAA insurance. Can Gronk sign up to play in any of these tournaments? So <laughs> if if Gronk is, uh, um, has a family member that was in the military, then yes, he can he can sign up. At, um, you know, play in their in his family member's honor. You know, in the family division. Yeah, but he can't sign up by himself. No. No, so he's he still on the outside looking in. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, I just want to make that clear to Gronk because. Just want to rub it in, Gronk. You can't play in this either. 
<laughs> yeah. I didn't you, know because my dad was in the army in World War II. Then, you, then you're completely eligible, yes, Kathy, to be able to play. You know, oh, yes. you know he has to one, be there to play with you, Kathy. Okay. No, um, no, he doesn't have to be it's there. Hard. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to be there. No, okay. he doesn't. You know, uh, obviously, our family division is, you know, uh, of, you know, uh, we wanted to get family members involved because, you know, when you see a lot of these, yeah, these these uh, these events that go on, you know, I, I mean, you know, it's always the golfer that gets to go out the door and, you know, they're going out to have a good time, you know, and you got, you know, whether the wife and the kids at home, not, you know, not being able to participate. But, you know, what, uh, we've come to realize, you know, a lot of the wives that, you know, they golf with their husbands, you know, and, and then the kids as well. But, you know. We also want to be, want to be open minded and be able to expand that. You know what? Gosh, you know what? Um, my grandfather, or, or you know, he served. You know, and I want to be able to honor him. And uh, you know, so we so we we opened up. You know, obviously the family division for people just like that because, you know what? They're proud of their family member service. You know, yeah. we want and and you know what? Golf is supposed to be inclusive, right? Open to all. You know, yeah. and and we want to. You know, we want to be able to make that, you know, happen for for more and more players. Um, unfortunately, you know, not Gronk, you know, if he doesn't have a family member that has served. <laughs> All right. He's going to find I, one. <laughs> I get my brother who served in Vietnam to sign up. That's I right. Could, but he doesn't play anymore. He's hurt his neck. I, well, I, I could use him to get, get myself into a tournament. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, or you can sign up. You know, he does not have to be a member. You can oh, sign yeah, up yeah. under okay. him. Yep. Un, you know, and, you know, and, and you're playing in honor of, you know, your yeah. brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look out, I'm coming for you, Joe. Well, you, <laughs> hey, I, man, I, I look forward to Gary. You know, um, I I had an Achilles tendon uh, uh, injury back in, in April um, oh, and then uh, have a meniscus tear in my knee. Uh, so I took all summer off. Uh, uh, you know, I just oh, we just did our Clover Cup in Ireland, and I shot a seventy-eight at Doombeg. So uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah Doombeg you know, is Doombeg is really hard. No practice, you know, just seventy-eight right off the bat. All right, I take it back. I'm not coming for you. Seventy. <laughs> yeah. Well, one reason. Degrees, yeah. Never mind. One yeah. reason I wanted to talk to you, Joe, is that my father was. I don't know. Somehow he ended. From Italy in World War II, he got sent back to the United States and had part of a lung taken out. And for rehabilitation, they told him he could either swim, which he knew he wasn't going to do because somebody had pushed him into a pond when he was small and he was scared oh. of the water, or he could play golf, which he had never done before because he grew up in a town of 250 people in the middle of Illinois. Okay. And so he started playing golf somewhere around Denver, Colorado, because he was at Fitzsimmons Hospital, if that okay. makes any sense. I, I'm going to assume that's still there. It was a big hospital. And my mother was an Army nurse, and that's where they met. But my dad got the golf bug, and he went on to win six country club championships. Wow. And so that I'm assuming that there are millions of people in our country and probably around the world who have taken up golf for one reason or another, but especially military people. And they turn into the most avid golfers in the world. It's it's insane. So I exactly. thought it was important for us to find out about you because we've both Gary and I've been in the golf business for a long time, and I'd never heard of your organization. And I thought this is ridiculous. We got to find out. Oh, well, thank you. We, you know, uh, and you, and I, you got a great website too. There's all kinds of stuff on it. Lolby. Yeah. History to sign up. Yeah. And more important, uh, click on the shopping area because. <laughs> Joe, I mean, you already know. You've got all kinds of merchandise here with a good logo. You can get Thank some you. pretty good quality stuff there. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty good prices. Hats, shirts. That's right. And, you know, if you want to get a bag with your name on it, I think you can make that happen. You can do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Kathy, back to your point. You know, golf is, you know, is obviously a very, you know, what, very relaxing type sport, right? You know, you're supposed to go out there you know, get some outdoor therapy, get, you know, some, you know, some exercise. And uh, I never picked up a club when I was active duty. Yeah. You know, I was stationed at Fort Benning over in Columbus, Georgia. 
there was a golf course on the base. I used to drive by it on my on my way in every morning. You know, I would look at it. We would <laughs> run. We would run around it. You know, for exercise. You know, if you got in trouble, you had to go over there and work and go paint rocks or or whatever. <laughs> you know, that that was my only experience of what a golf course was. You know, I mean, I would see the officers. You know, or the you know some of the you know senior senior personnel out there playing golf. But you know, that's. You know, to me back then, I think that that's what they did to kind of, you know, like, you know, suck up or, you know, get some brownie points, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I was too busy you know, uh, doing other things, you know, I, you know, golf was never in my picture. But again, you know, when you're at Walter Reed and, you know, you have, I hate to say, you know, you're kind of stuck in a, in a, in a hospital room, you know, like these four walls of gloom, right? And, yeah. you know, you always get it seems like every day a doc, you know, a different doctor tell me, you know, giving you a list of things you're never going to do in your life. Right. You know, and you're, you're just like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, and, you know, thank thank goodness, you know, for a gentleman named you know, Jim Estes, who was a teaching pro up in that area um, to create a little program where, you know, I mean, they were, you know, they were coming to knock on every 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 service member's doors. Like, hey, would you like to come out and try your hand at golf, you know? I used to throw pans and my man, my food at these guys. Like, go away! I don't play golf. You know, golf for old, <laughs> old people that wear funny clothes, right? I, I mean, know an old person wearing funny clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that was that was my thing, you know. And and yeah. then sure enough, you know, um, you know, finally one day I realized, man, there's no one here. And where are they all at? They're all doing like recreational things, and you know. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go try this this golf, right? And I, you know. All it took was being able to hit the ball one time that that actually looked like what they did on TV, and I was like, okay, this can't be that bad, you know. <laughs> you know sh shortly after that, you know, I mean, uh, you know, so I get transported from, you know, from Washington D.C., you know, uh, Bethesda here to Fort Gordon, which is Augusta, Georgia. So, right, uh, it was we, had just, a, we had a nice, nice course there, Fort Gordon. Yeah, it, there is, you know, and but I was never stationed here, so I had, I mean, literally when the C-130 landed here at Augusta Regional Airport, you know, ramp comes down, and and you know, I see, you know, Augusta Airport, I'm like, oh, hey, you guys got the wrong airport. I said, I'm Columbus, Georgia, the other side of the state. They're like, no, 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 this is the right place, <laughs> you know. And, uh, I, I mean, I, I was pretty heated. I was like, man, they, they're dropping me off the wrong base, <laughs> and. Uh, um, but only because, you know, Eisenhower Army Hospital had the uh, proper facilities that, you know, the active duty rehab unit that was uh, okay. to be able to take care of, uh, um, okay. you know, wounded service members like myself. And, uh, you know, so sure enough, you know, um, the 2010 Masters rolls around and the hospital commander comes to my room one day, you know, he's like, hey, Miss Kaylee, uh, you've been selected to go to the Masters. And I was like, what the hell is that? Right? <laughs> oh, golf tournament. So I remember leaning over, telling my wife, pack my bags, because I thought I was going to someplace tropical with palm trees okay. and like okay. at the beach, right? Because that's that's what I was used to seeing golf on TV, right? Yeah. Pebble Beach or like the Bahamas or whatever. And uh, and they're like, no, 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 it's like you know, a couple minutes down the road. I'm like, down the road here, you know? And I was, I said, I look out the window of the hospital every day. There's a golf course around here, you know? And they're like, yeah, Augusta National. It's like ten minutes away. You know, um, yeah, you know, they're gonna have someone to be able to take you. You know, and I was like, and, and it's kind of a big deal, yeah. I, <laughs> again, I asked them, you know, the masters, what the heck is that? <laughs> well, so, if you're not in golf, you don't know. No, yeah, we're, we're in we're in the bubble world of golf, and you know, it's it's fun to hear somebody who's was not in the not into golf to go, well, it's the masters because that seems incredible to us but there's a lot of people in that boat so yeah you found out right i did i did you know and then obviously you know when I, when i got to go you know i had an escort come with me and and uh you know i was like wow you know uh, you get out to the the tournament practice area you know and then you come and then go down the hill you see the big scoreboard and then obviously a big grand view of the, of the property and you're like yeah, it's beautiful oh, it's i said yeah. you know this this is something out of a, uh, you know, so, something out of a movie or, you know, like a painting, right? I mean, uh, you know, scenery is not supposed to look like this, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I, I bet you started watching the Masters on TV after that. Experience. I did, I, I, I did, you know, and, uh, you, you know, and then obviously when we started the, you know, Josh and I, we started the VGA 
it was one of those things where we said, you know what, we want to be able to give our veteran champions, our flight champions, that same jaw dropping experience. Because yeah. no matter your, no matter what your age, you know, anyone that walks in, you know, the gates, you know, there at Augusta National and gets gets to walk the grounds, it, it's it's you know, it's on awe, awe inspiring, right? I mean, you you're seeing golf at at its finest, and. Uh, you know, and I think that's one of the, the neatest things, you know, that that our, you know, our organization has been able to do and continue doing. Now, believe me, it's it's not cheap being able to rent homes in Augusta for all these players to stay at. You know, uh, you know, we're you know, we're, we're you know, we're having to, you know, acquire practice round tickets for these folks too. you know, and, and because. You know, we want them to have that that experience. You know, well, at and, least you can you can get them though. Most people, the general public, can't really get them. No, I mean, you, you know, can get them. You just need a lot of money. Well, no. that, that or you know, um, again, yeah, you know, through the years, you know, the prices of everything keeps going up. You know, and rental homes and and whatnot. You know, so, but you know, it, but it's something you know, Josh and I, we were very committed to that. We don't want to end. I know many years back they had other organizations that were doing this, but I think you know perhaps maybe logistics and you know maybe maybe it's just a cost thing, you know that that it's become harder. So they kind of pull up pull up ten stakes and they don't do it as much. But you know I have the advantage of being able to live here, yeah. you know, knowing the community and and, yeah. and and whatnot, you know. Plus, you know what? Again, it, it's that commitment. We want to be able to provide, you know, that 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 world class experience to our yeah. members who, who week in and week out are playing mm -hmm. in our VGA tournaments. Right? <laughs> They're setting goals for themselves. Right? And um, yeah, you know, when they win that championship, you know, they're told that, hey, you know, we'll we'll see you in April at Augusta. You know, that's right. That that that's means true. something, right? You know, and. Uh, um, and, and again, you know, it, to me, it's always very, you know, it, it's very rewarding, you know, to, to see them, you know, obviously, you know, w win their championship trophies in the fall and then, all, and then come here to, to Augusta, you know, in the spring, you know. But then, you know, we, we, we've, we've created some new uh, you know, tournament formats and championship formats, you know, one that we're, we're, we're very proud of called the Armed Forces Cup. So that's our military rider cup. Okay. And, uh, you know, so it's all five branches of the military, and they put together a, uh, a ten-person squad. And, and uh, those uh, those members are selected for uh, obviously the most points earners throughout our VGA season. You know, and then you know, obviously those, those top point earners are are invited to an Armed Forces Cup regional qualifier. Um, so each region has a qualifier, and then from there. You know the top players are put together on the on this team um you know and our very first couple uh, iterations of this was held in pinehurst and then you know uh we had a chance um opportunity to uh, meet then the uh, former owner of champions retreat you know mr bill forster and, and explain to him what what you know the our forces cup was and, and he got you know, on board exactly he, he he was excited you know uh, a lot of people would be on board for any of your tournaments well, you, you, you know obviously you know um the course is all you know was at the time it was only you you obviously you know kind of hit probably the public radar because of the anwa you know so outside of the anwa you know with here you know here they're hosting the best fee, you know fee, female you know uh, amateurs in the world and all of a sudden you know come come memorial day weekend you know, here here comes all these veterans, right? These veteran golfers. However, um, you know, um, we were able to uh, work with the folks from Fox Sports, and and you know, and you know, big thank you to the obviously Coach Urban Meyer and and Mr. Uh, Silverman, president of Fox Sports. You know, they just happen to say, you know, hey, we, you know, we you know we have capacity and we want to be able to support uh, you know this veteran tournament. And so they, you know, here each year they bring out a uh, a crew from California, and they're they're able to film and package a a very nice, you know, Armed Forces Cup, uh, um, you know, package which gets put, uh, gets aired on, on their channels, um, you know, later on in the summer, normally around you know like the July Fourth weekend, you know. So, okay. um, so hey, Joe, the uh, before we go, 
Yeah. What's the favorite course, your favorite course that you've played so far? And tell me the one golf shot that sticks out in your mind that you've ever hit. Hmm. All righty. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, there's two, but so my, my, the first one's going to be, uh, so I'm going to say Augusta National, number, uh, hole 16. You got, very, you got, you got, yeah, you got to play there? Yes, sir. Um, very fortunate that, you know, um, yeah, I, I had their na Augusta National Caddy of the Year like five times. Very experienced gentleman, and, and he was an Air Force veteran. And, oh. um, you know, obviously those those caddies are remarkable. They they know the, the course of the, like the back of their hand. And, uh, and and he knew my game very well, and uh, you know, so we get the 16, and uh, pin location was uh, front right, so it's up on top of a little, a little yeah. plateau, and everyone else in the group was going at it, and they would hit, and the ball wouldn't be able to stop, and it'd go left all the way down in the water, and yeah. you know, so Grumpy, <laughs> my cat, he's like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. You can hit the bunker. I'm like, hit the bunker? No, I mean. You know, who purposely wants to hit a bunker, <laughs> right? Because hit the bunker, you're gonna go up. Yeah, you're gonna get it. You know, get it up. You know, and, and we're gonna walk away here with a win. I'm like, okay. I hit the best bunker shot in my life, and, and here I am bragging to you guys. I hit the best bunker. I mean, into the bunker. Yeah, from that bunker, it would have to be a good shot to yeah, stay on the green. You know, so I get it up. You know, uh, I get it up there. Right, we walk up hit it out to inches of the hole and 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 putt and walk, yeah. walk out with a par now yeah it wasn't a birdie it wasn't it wasn't anything sexy but uh that was course management and uh, and you know, you'll never forget it that's the no, whole point no it, <laughs>